All right, Flattery Mechanic here today, and customer brought their uh, Volkswagen in for a check engine light, and I went ahead and scanned it for codes. Um, I use the Rostec software, which is a downloadable software uh, online that anybody can get. All you would need is the uh, the dongle that goes with it. But we pulled a couple codes out of this thing. Um, we got the factory code here. Let's see. We got the factory code number here and the generic OBD2, which would be a P119A. And we also got a P0171 for a system to lean. And um, the P119A is for fuel pressure sensor. All right, so I went ahead and um, I ran into this issue before on these Volkswagen TSI engines. Um, it appears. It's starting to be what appears to be a pretty common failure and I'm gonna go into exactly what that is at the end of the video here I'm going to show you how I test for it and uh, tell you what needs to be done to repair it but it's definitely becoming a very common issue here so uh, hang tight and we will get on to that but anyway so first thing uh, what usually let me explain these codes a little bit the P1 the P0171 system lean means the engines uh, getting too much fuel typically Right, sorry, getting too much air and not enough fuel, which is causing a lean condition. And normally what causes that is a vacuum leak um, or low fuel pressure, plugged injectors, those kind of things. But we also have this uh, fuel pressure sensor uh, code. So me as a diagnostic technician, nor the first thing I kind of would think of was, okay, maybe we got a fuel pressure issue. But I went ahead and did a little research on Identifix, and like I said, this isn't the first time I've come across this either. So uh, this research I did was actually a while back, and since then I've seen a few of these. Uh, I've seen a few of these failures. So um, what I went ahead and did is uh, first thing is I went ahead and smoked it, and I got video of me smoking this and finding out where that actual failure was but um, what we found out is the smoke was just billowing out from in between the transmission and the engine uh, basically causing this lean condition and the only thing in between the engine and the transmission is a rear main crank seal uh, which is which was what is causing it on this actual vehicle and I do smoke it in this video you'll see that as well um, and you'll be able to tell on uh, you be able to tell how to determine if it is your rear main seal now in most instances on these Volkswagen not sure why but this uh, P 119 a code is um, It usually just sets falsely when you have a lean condition. Yeah, the fuel pressure code usually sets faults caused by the lean condition the fuel pressure is tested by you it's tested by utilizing a special tool and comparing that value to the block value 230 in the engine electronics with compatible scan tool but uh, so what I actually going to do before we smoke before I smoke this thing is I got the I got my generic scan tool hooked up like I said I checked this with the Rostec or the VCDS on um, the downloadable Volkswagen um, scan tool uh, but what I did is uh, when you're using that, you have to enter all the black values to look at any data. So I just hooked in my generic uh, G-Scan 2 up to this Volkswagen, and I'm going to go into generic OBD2. And what that's going to be able, what that's going to let me do, which um, a lot of people are unfamiliar with this, with a lot of European stuff, uh, Volkswagen, you know, it's hard to get an American type fuel trim value or a fuel trim value that you'd be used to be looking at, a positive 10% or negative 10% or zero. So uh, by going into generic OBD2 function, oops, yeah, and just looking at the data here, we should be able to pull up our uh, fuel trim. And sure enough, you can see here we got a uh, short term fuel trim and long term fuel trim. And the reason I want to look at this is just to bear before I waste time smoking this and checking for leaks, I just want to verify this engine is actually running lean at this time. And uh, a good number on these short and long term fuel trims is going to be close to zero. Any give or take a couple couple percentages, but not much. And as you can see here, short term is adding 25% fuel, and long term 4.7. So that's a considerable amount of fuel. So we definitely have um, a pretty lean condition going on here. And I'm going to start by smoking this, and uh, let's get right to that. So I'm going to go on the hood, smoke this thing, and I will show you guys what I found, and then we'll talk about the repair. 
Okay, so this is a smoke machine we're going to be using, and I'll leave a link below where you can uh, find these things on Amazon relatively cheaply. There's a lot of different options out there, but this is what we're going to be using today. So uh... we got the smoke machine all hooked up here, and I just hooked it in through the upper intake manifold right where the uh, right off the air box, and you can see all the smoke we're getting here. Um, hard to identify from up top, but let me go ahead and get this thing up in the air. Alright, we'll take another look. Alright. And as you can see, right there, is a pretty good view of it. There's my flashlight. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. And now that's coming right out from between the engine and the transmission, which means this uh, rear main seal is leaking, and that's what's causing our lean condition. But you can see it's also it's also leaking some oil here. But uh, this side is the transmission side, and this is the engine side. So we got smoke just pouring out in between the the two of those. And um, the only seal is that rear main seal back there that's capable of leaking vacuum or engine oil. So. There you have it. Okay, so obviously you can see there we definitely have a rear main seal problem um, that is causing our lean condition. And I've actually seen these come, these things come in where they've totally failed and they dump oil all over the place. This car has happened at 125,000 miles. Um, but also another thing, um, if you own a Volkswagen with one of these TSI motors, you're probably going to want to, um, as a regular maintenance thing, just and beware of that the crankcase pressure regulating valve um, can fail and cause excess crankcase pressure. And if it does, it has the capability of blowing out that rear main seal. So if you haven't replaced that or you are not familiar with it, it bolts right on top of the in, on top of the valve cover gasket, and I'll I'll roll some footage of that too here in a second. Um, but it bolts right on top of the valve cover gasket, and I would just because of the high failure rate of these things, and when they do fail, it could potentially lead to a very expensive repair. Um, I recommend replacing them every 20,000 miles, <clears throat> and if you're doing a new if you're doing a rear main seal in one of these. Uh, 2 liter TSI Volkswagen motors, I would highly recommend replacing that when you do the rear main seal as well. It, uh, can okay, and this is our crankcase pressure regulating valve, which is usually the most common cause for these rear main seals to go. These uh, PCV valves, they, some will call it, they will fail and cause excess pressure in the crankcase, blowing that rear main seal out. It uh, can just save a lot of headache and um, a lot of money in the future. but. That's going to about do it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I just wanted to do this video on this uh, P0171 on these Volkswagens because the rear main seals seem to be becoming a very common occurrence on these things. But I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the Fly Ray Mechanic. Till next time.